When I started working in the nursery on the OB floor of Moore Memorial Hospital, as it was called back then, I had no idea what I'd be doing or how this experience would affect me in years to come. I just needed a job. My husband was in the hospital at the time and we had no income. So I was thankful to get the job and especially to be working with babies. It seemed perfect. My responsibilities were varied according to how many patients were there or if it was a full moon or not. Babies like to be born on a full moon. Each mother had her own story. Some were sad, some were happy, most were happy. I remember one particular story that was one of mystery. From the time this young mother came in, she was, we noticed that she was alone, that she was especially quiet, and there was a lot of whispering going on. We didn't understand what that was about. But um, we sensed that she was troubled, and we had no idea why. Then we received strict orders that when her husband came, he was not to be allowed to see the baby. We didn't understand that. Then when he did arrive, she was in labor, by the way, the story began to leak out. The husband was in service, and while he was away, she had an affair and got pregnant. Then we found out that he gave her an ultimatum as they talked. She had to choose between the husband or the baby. She chose the husband. We were really upset. Still, we had to be very protective of the baby until social services came to pick him up. And we guarded that door with our very lives. I still remember seeing him come out of her room. He seemed so cold. And as he walked down the, the hall, going out those double doors, that you could feel the tension in the air. I was a wreck. I went home and told my husband I wanted to adopt that baby. He thought I'd lost my mind. <laughs> he reminded me we already had four. <laughs> we lovingly fed and cuddled and cared for that little one as if he were our own. And I was off the day that the social services came to pick him up, and the next day I rushed in to, over to his bassinet only to find it empty. My heart sank. A cloud of gloom hung over that nursery for several days, that is, until a new crop of babies began to come in. I've often wondered what happened to that little boy, if hoping praying that he was adopted into a loving home. And as I, sorry, as I look back over this incident, I realize it did have a lasting effect on my life. And I guess that's why I started working at the pregnancy center and worked there for volunteering for many years and serving on the board of directors for six years. I'm still involved to a certain extent, not in the same way. I'm still saving babies and helping young mothers. <laughs>